Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from partial differential equations. So let's get going. Problem. Form partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants from z equal to a log of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x. So we are asked to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b from this relation. Given equation z equal to a log of a into log of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x. Let's partially differentiate. Consider it as equation 1. Let's partially differentiate it with respect to x. Okay. Just apply dou by dou x on both sides of 1. This gives us dou z by dou x equal to a into partial derivative of log of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x. Right? Which gives us, since we have a notation, dou z by dou x equal to p. So let's replace LHS by p. You'll get p equal to a into partial derivative of log of some term is 1 by b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x right into partial derivative of inner derivative that is dou by dou x of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x okay now we can write this as p equal to a into 1 minus x by b times y minus 1 into constant b times y minus 1 into partial derivative of 1 by 1 minus x. Since we are partially differentiating with respect to x, we will read y as constant so that we have taken b times y minus 1 as constant here. Okay, fine. This gives us here b times y minus 1 gets cancelled. And you'll have p equal to a times 1 minus x into partial derivative of 1 by 1 minus x is minus 1 by 1 minus x whole square into inner, inner derivative that is partial derivative of 1 minus x. Which gives us p equal to a times 1 minus x into minus 1 by 1 minus x whole square into partial derivative of 1 with respect to x minus partial derivative of x with respect to x. Right? Which uses p equal to a times 1 minus x into minus 1 by 1 minus x whole square into partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Okay, this gives us p equal to a into 1 minus x into minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 right by 1 minus x whole square so 1 1 minus x gets cancelled so you'll get p equal to a by 1 minus x or a equal to right a equal to p times 1 minus x just Bring this 1 minus x to LHS, you will get p times 1 minus x equal to this a. Okay, now consider it as equation 2. By partially differentiating 1 with respect to x, we got a equal to p 
times 1 minus x which we have considered as 2. Now let's partially differentiate 1 with respect to y. Partially differentiating 1 with respect to y. Apply dou by dou y on both sides of 1. This gives us dou z by dou y equal to constant a into partial derivative of log of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x. Since we are partially differentiating with respect to y, so x will be treated as constant. This gives us, okay, now we are going to use the notation since dou z by dou y equal to q. Let's replace the LHS part by q. We'll get q equal to a into partial derivative of log of some term is 1 by b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x into partial derivative of, I mean inner derivative, dou by dou y of b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x. And this gives us q equal to a into 1 by b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x gives 1 minus x by b times y minus 1 into partial derivative of this term. So constant b by 1 minus x into partial derivative of y minus 1, right? Which gives us q equal to, see you can cancel 1, 1 minus x and b. We get a by y minus 1 into partial derivative of y with respect to y minus partial derivative of constant with respect to y. Which uses q equal to a by y minus 1 into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. Which gives us q equal to a by y minus 1 or a equal to q times y minus 1. Consider as equation number 3. So by partially differentiating the given equation with respect to y, we got equation 3. Now observe 1, 2 and 3. It is clear that by substituting 2 or 3 in 1, the arbitrary constants won't get eliminated. Why I'm saying 2 or 3? Because we are having a equal to p times 1 minus x and a equal to q times 1 minus y. We can't, at a time, we can't just apply these two, right? We can apply either a or, I mean, we can apply either equation 2 or either 3, right? So, by applying 2 or 3 in 1, the arbitrary constants won't get eliminated. Now, observe 2 and 3. So from 2 and 3, we can just equate them, right? Since a equal to p times 1 minus x and a equal to q times y minus 1, right? So from 2 and 3, we get p times 1 minus x equal to q times y minus 1. Just simplify it. It's q, right? Fine. Now take this negative, I mean the term involving negative sign to RHS and bring this to LHS. Then we'll get P plus Q equal to PX plus QY. It does not involve any arbitrary constants, right? And also this is an equation of the form say F of X, Y, Z, P and Q equal to 0 where which does not involve any arbitrary constants and it has this equation was x, y, p and q, right? So we can say that this is a required partial differential equation. Therefore, p plus q equal to px plus qy is the required 
partial differential equation. Well, now let's see the shortcut. Partially differentiating 1 with respect to x. Do z by do x is p. Okay. Equal to a into partial derivative of log of this term. 1 by b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x into partial derivative of inner inner term that is partial derivative inner partial derivative otherwise simply okay so here constant is y minus 1 i mean b times y minus 1 is treated as constant into partial derivative of 1 by 1 minus x is minus 1 by 1 minus x whole square into partial derivative of 1 minus x that is inner derivative partial derivative of 1 minus x is partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0 minus partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 right since dou z by dou x equal to p so we will replace it by p you will get p equal to a into 1 minus x by b times y minus 1 into b times y minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 1 by 1 minus x whole square right 1 1 minus x whole square gets cancelled b gets cancelled y minus 1 gets cancelled and you'll get p equal to a by 1 minus x or a equal to p times 1 minus x which we have considered as equation number 2 easy right see if i won't explain you just can't understand this directly because i have written directly fine now let's partially differentiate one with respect to y dou z by dou y equal to partial derivative of log of this term with respect to y is 1 by b times y minus 1 by 1 minus x into partial derivative of i mean inner derivative constant b by partially will find inner derivative so b by 1 minus x is constant and partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus partial derivative of 1 constant with respect to y is 0 right this gives us since dou z by dou y equal to q which is a notation you will get q equal to a into 1 minus x by b times y minus 1 into b into 1 b by 1 minus x which gives us okay here 1 minus x and b gets cancelled and you will get q equal to a by y minus 1 or a equal to q times y minus 1 which we have considered as equation 3 now just observe 1, 2 and 3 by replacing 2 or 3 in 1 the arbitrary constants won't get eliminated so from 2 and 3 we will get p times 1 minus x equal to q times y minus 1 just simplify it Now take this term to RHS and bring this to LHS. You will get P plus Q equal to PX plus QY which is a required partial differential equation. This completes the problem. Well, we have seen a problem from partial differential equation in this video. I hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.